In this channel, I've talked a lot about Soviet agriculture from the 1921 famine to the Virgin Lands Campaign in Kazakhstan. In particular, I've mentioned the humus-rich soil known as Black Earth, which is predominantly found in Ukraine, known as the breadbasket of both the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union. Now what most people don't know is that it is technically called Chernozem, which is the literal translation of Black Earth in Russian. It pertains to a group of soil categories that are known for being humus-rich and highly fertile. The other two types are Kastanozem and Fayozem. Although Chernozem isn't found much in North America, with the exception of the Dakotas and Manitoba, Kastanozem is located throughout the Great Plains. Interestingly enough, Kastanozem, which is the second most fertile soil of the group, is found extensively throughout northern Kazakhstan in southern Russia, which most probably led to the Soviet 1950s Virgin Lands Campaign. It's quite interesting that these two political giants even shared the same soil type, which is probably why Khrushchev was so eager to replicate large-scale US agriculture in the Soviet Union. The only issue is that Kastanozem is quite dry compared to Chernozem which could have led to the extensive droughts and meteorological problems that incapacitated Khrushchev's march to agricultural independence. Fayozem is found in Russia, but to a much smaller degree compared to the United States. Due to its high leaching, which causes nutrients to sink deeper into the soil and away from the plant roots, Fayozem is mainly reserved for livestock grazing. All of a sudden, Soviet 1950s policy makes a whole lot more sense.